Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's another scent of the week and this week's theme is hot summer nights. If you're into that, stay tuned. We're going to talk about the four fragrances that I spent this week living, loving, and enjoying. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about treating yourself to um, everything from designer skincare, fragrances, handbags, anything to just, you know, make yourself feel a little bit special because you deserve it. You work hard, be it at a job, taking care of kids, what have you. You just, you know, deserve something nice. And we're all, all here to share in that um, experience together. So this week, it was not quite as baking hot, um, and I didn't film last week because I literally spent every day wearing contremois. It was, um, it's a, it's a hot, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a habit. I, I probably need to stop, but I will, will say now this is my signature scent. I am living for it. Um, I've already used a ton of it in the month and a half that I've had it. It's, it's, I love it. Um, I mean, I love Wonder Woman too. That's why it's out, but I have to say it's my go-to. I'm grabbing it all the time and I just, I just skipped a week because I wore it every single day. It was great. So this week I forced myself to try out, um, a couple other things and, um, the one that I had been hesitant to do for quite some time was the Killian, um, boys again, because like I said, I started a new job and it's a little bit, um, while I'm in an administrative uh, role, um, I still work in a place that has, um, part of the building has cl clinical, um, components. So, um, it could be a little bit offensive to wear strong fragrances. So I was a little bit hesitant to wear the, um, bad boys fragrance. Um, the notes in boys, it, top notes are cola and lime, middle notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and apple, and the base notes are cedar and amber wood. So I thought it would be fine for the summer because of those nice fresh um, lime and apple. But I found that on my skin this week, um, it was just a little too heavy. So I even, I mean, I don't spritz a whole lot, but I even was like, okay, that's too much. So walk that back. So I'm not going to put that on again, I don't think, until we hit fall. So that one's going to go back in the archive for a little while. And of course, because I had that happen, <laughs> uh, day two on Tuesday, I went for the standard contre moi and rocked that. And of course, love it as usual. Um, and then I just uh, went ahead and took out the, um, so the white box is the exterior carton. The tube is what holds the fragrance and then um, the bottle, of course, out there. So just thought I'd put that out there. So people, if they didn't realize how uh, LV fragrances came packaged, that's how they do. So really enjoy Contra Moi. Again, it's a, I won't say complex. There's a lot of scent, a lot of notes going on, but they have a very common theme. Vanilla um, from Madagascar, absolute of vanilla from Madagascar, Tahitianist vanilla, orange blossom, rose centifolia from Grasse. Essence of Magnolia and Ambrotte Seeds. So um, a lot of things going on there, but it's a very lovely scent, almost a smoky, tobacco-y vanilla scent. So I, I'm really enjoying that. Um, then we went a couple of days with Passion de L'Amour. Um, so that's Wednesday, Thursday. And all I can say on that is I wore it to bed and the name speaks volumes. So you know what I mean. <laughs> So top notes of that are saffron, raspberry, middle notes, caramel, amorous oil, base notes are oud, and Leatrix Absolute. So I'm using a lighter hand with this in the summer. Um, I'm definitely now getting the sweetness more often when I 
put it on, but because I do still find on me, this is quite a heavy scent. Um, I, I have to just do a really light spritz, maybe one behind uh, my neck, um, hair area, and then, you know, one somewhere lower down on my, <laughs> on my body. So, um, it could be wrists or, um, just you know, any like um, behind my knees, just somewhere on two pulse points on my body rather than on several where I would do Contra Moi or Wonder Woman. I might hit every one of my pulse points because it's just not as intense on me of a fragrance. Um, uh, Passion of L'Amour is not that. Passion of L'Amour is very, um, I keep using the word pungent not pungent in a bad way, just a very strong scent on me. So I don't need a whole lot. It lasts and lasts. So it's a really great scent. If you have the kind of chemistry that can hold on to fragrance, this, this stays around. So, um, you will enjoy that one for sure if you haven't picked it up yet. So um, go for it if you haven't. And then Friday and Saturday, I wore Wonder Woman. And as true to the name, it is the power fragrance. It makes it just makes me feel more powerful um, when I wear it. I love the scent in general. It's a nice, um, just com almost comforting, but in a fruity scents. So a more a spring summery scent. So, com but comforting and it makes me feel like I got this. That's, that's the fragrance that, yeah, this is what makes me feel like I got this. So I was having a little bit of a, um, tough time at, at my new job, not tough per se, but I just didn't feel like I was fitting in, um, in the new culture. Um, so I wanted to wear that to just give me a little bit of that confidence behind the scenes. So uh, Wonder Woman's top notes are Devana, Pink Pepper, Raspberry, Bergamot. I love raspberry. Heart notes, Tolu, Almond, Oris. Base notes, Musk, Vanilla, Absolute. And vanilla just, again, is my go-to. I love scents that have that. So I'm really fond of having um, fragrances that contain those. So really, really loving that. So love the bottle. It's a great presentation. I mean, I'm, I'm so bummed that they don't, um, they're not going to bring this back, but hopefully I can find a dupe that's close that I can, you know, ration that out. But right now I'm just going crazy on that sucker right there. <laughs> so I guess there's, it doesn't have a lot to worry about, but once, um, I get maybe tired of Contra Moi, I'll be like, I need Wonder Woman. What's going on? So yeah, those were the sense of this week. Again, like I said, it was a, um, summery week. <laughs> I shouldn't say a, it was a balmy 90 ish degrees all week but after that 120 practically degree um heat wave we had for a few days this is like nothing and I used to be the kind of person where if it was above 80 I wanted to die and <laughs> total first world problems hated it so um I'm actually very thankful that we're only in the 90s that's a good thing. So, um, we'll see what we start pulling out for the rest of the summer. I still want to pull out, um, those new trends, not just saying new trends, the trends I haven't opened yet and test those out and see how those, um, work out for the summer and revisit some other items. Oh, and spoiler alert, I went shopping to the outlets up in Woodburn and to get a couple fragrances there as well. So there'll be some new items to the collection I will unbox and talk about those at some point as well. So thanks for watching. Like, comment. And remember, we have that subscriber giveaway at 100 subscribers. I want to get those things out of the house. So please share, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. So um, take care, y'all. You're the best. I appreciate you. You really um, give me something to look forward to every week. So take care. Bye.